If you're looking for an affordable new construction home with luxury finishes right here in Central Florida, keep watching this video because I think I found a perfect option for you. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Wilfredo and I'm a real estate advisor right here in Central Florida. And on this channel, my mission is to show you all houses throughout Central Florida, whether you're looking for a primary home, secondary home, or even an investment opportunity. Now, if that's something that interests you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any time I post a new video. Today, my friends, we are in Deland, Florida. For those of you unfamiliar with Central Florida, we're about two hours away from Tampa, two hours to Gainesville, 40 minutes gets you to downtown Orlando, as well as 40 minutes to the International Airport. And as far as the beaches, we're about 25 minutes away from New Smyrna and 25 minutes from Daytona Beach as well. Today, I'm gonna show you a house that features three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,943 square feet of space. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so stepping into this house, my friends, we are greeted by this long entryway hallway. The first thing I do want to point out is that throughout this house, you will see this LVP flooring. The only place you're going to see the carpet are in all three of the bedrooms. Now to start this tour, we're going to start to my right, where we're going to see the first two bedrooms, followed by the shared bathroom. Okay, so follow me to this first bedroom. Okay, so as we step in, this is going to be the first bedroom of the house. You're going to have the cozy carpet. You do have these double windows overlooking your front of the house, so you'll have a view of your front yard. And then, of course, through here, you're going to have your closet, which are sliding doors, standard size. Okay, now let's go take a look at your second bedroom. Okay, so stepping in, this is gonna be your second bedroom of this house. Of course, you're gonna see this cozy carpet, as I mentioned before. You're gonna have a window facing the west side of the house. And then through these doors, you're gonna have your spacious closet. As you can see, plenty of room in here. Now, let's go check out the first bathroom of this house that these two bedrooms are gonna share. Come on, follow me. Okay, so stepping in, this is gonna be the first bathroom of this house. This bathroom is gonna be shared from the first two bedrooms we just took a look at. I do want to point out this builder did install this beautiful porcelain tile all the way from the base of the tub all the way to the ceiling. Another thing that they put in was this frosted window. It gives you a lot of that light coming in, but gives you that privacy as well. And then of course you have your toilet. Right next to that is going to be your vanity with a marble countertop. It comes in white cabinets underneath and then you have your nice light fixture and your mirror as well. The next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be your laundry room and your garage. Okay, so this is gonna be your laundry room. As you can see, they already have the hookups in place, so all you have to do is bring in your washer and dryer and you're good to go. One thing you can do in here, you could install a rack or maybe some custom cabinets so you have extra storage where you could put your laundry detergent. Through this door, my friends, is gonna be a garage. Come on and follow me. And this is gonna be your two-car garage. Plenty of room for your two vehicles. Now let's step over here. They do have this space dedicated for your water heater as well as your AC unit. And as you can see, you even have some extra storage space around that. Now stepping over here, you do have your electrical panel. Another thing to point out is that this house is gonna come with an electric car garage door opener. So you don't need to worry about that. Now let's go back inside and check out the rest of this house. Okay, so stepping out of your garage and your laundry room, this, my friends, is where we're gonna find your living room, your dining room, as well as your kitchen. Let's start over here and take a look at this beautiful kitchen. If you're someone that loves to cook, you could definitely do that in a kitchen like this. First thing I wanna point out is this beautiful island. You're gonna see this marble countertop throughout this entire kitchen space. You have this nice stainless steel undermounted sink. And then on this side of the island, you do have seating available for about maybe three or four chairs. Last thing, Overlooking the island, you do have these beautiful light fixtures. Now moving right over here, you're gonna have your fridge. This entire kitchen does come with your upgraded stainless steel appliances. Also, I wanna point out 42 inch shaker style cabinets. Right over here, you're gonna have your hood, your stove. And then through this door behind me, is gonna be your pantry. And then this space right here, I definitely think you could definitely put in your coffee machine or maybe an espresso machine. And you do have this nice window bringing in some of that extra light. And then, you also have your soft closed drawers. Now moving right along, let's take a look at your dining room. And then this entire space is gonna be your living room slash dining room. 
Now, when I first walked in, I was kind of like, where would I put the dining room? Where would I put the living room? So you have a couple options. You could put your dining room table right along here, right next to your kitchen. Or I was thinking maybe you could also put your dining room table on this side. And then if you do that, this space right here would be your dedicated living room space. You do have an outlet right over here. So if you wanted to hang up your TV and not have your wires exposed, this would be the perfect space for it. So basically, nice open layout, gives you the options. However you want to furnish it, you have the option to do that. Now let's take a look right behind me and we'll enter into your lanai. Okay, so stepping out into your lanai, this is a great space to have here in Florida. For those of you that know, or maybe you don't know, Florida can get really hot in the summer months. So having this space really allows you to come out here and enjoy your backyard. Okay, so moving right along, this is gonna be your backyard. This house sits on just under a quarter acre of land. So let's follow me over here. Another thing I wanna point out is that this house is a corner lot. So not only do you have this space back here, but look at all the room and land you have on the side of your house. A lot of space on the back and on the side. Lastly, let's go back inside and check out your master bedroom as well as your master bathroom. Follow me. Okay, so stepping into your primary suite. First thing you're gonna notice is all this space, really big room. You can have two windows overlooking your backyard, nice tray ceiling with the crown molding insert, nice elegant touch. You could put your king size bed over here, two nice stands, a dresser, plenty of room for all of your furniture. Now let's take a look at the master closet. So this space is gonna be your master closet. All you need to do in here is put in some racks or some custom cabinets to make this space yours. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the master bathroom. So this is gonna be your master bathroom. As you can see, beautiful porcelain tiles. You have beautiful porcelain on the floor, surrounding this beautiful walk-in shower. You have your window over here, that light coming in, but also again, remember you have that privacy. And look at this soaker tub. Just a great thing to have in your bathroom after a long, hard day. Come in here on wine, maybe drink some wine, light some candles, really set the mood. Right next to that, you're gonna have your toilet, of course. And over here, you're gonna have your marble countertop, which is a sink, white cabinets underneath. Of course, nice, beautiful light fixture and your mirror. Now to wrap up this house tour, let's go back in the kitchen where I'm gonna break down the finances of this house. We're gonna talk about the price of the house, down payment, taxes, all that good stuff. So to close out this home tour, let's talk about the finances. This house was listed at $350,000, but since then there's been two price reductions and this house is currently listed at $330,000. With that being said, we definitely know the sellers are motivated and there's a deal to be made. So let's talk about your down payment. If you're a first time home buyer and you're gonna use an FHA loan, the minimum you need to put down is 3.5%. So let's do the numbers. The price of this home is $330,000. 3.5% of that is for your down payment, you need to bring $11,550 for your down payment. Now let's say you're gonna utilize a conventional loan and let's say you're putting down 5% of $330,000. You need to put down $16,500 for your down payment. Lastly, let's talk about your closing costs. Closing costs are gonna be anywhere from three to 4% of the purchase price of your home. So that's where I come in as your realtor. Me and my team, we strive to get most, if not all of those closing costs paid for you by the builder or the seller. So that's that much less money you have to bring with you at closing. That does it for this video. If you're someone that's looking to buy or sell in such a photo, all my information will be in the description below. Please contact me. I'd love to help you guys out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Later.